Hello, my name is Stephen Marois, and welcome back to Ride and Steel. In today's program, we are going to the Brunswick Elks Lodge, where we're going to meet up with a group of riders who are going to try to raise some money for the Maine Children's Cancer Hospital's Owie Box program. When we come back from these messages, we'll uh, begin our run. Ride and Steel is brought to you by... Maroy's quality interior and exterior painting, serving the Midcoast area for over 20 years and proud to support Ride and Steel and the causes the bikers ride for. Now, the Owie Box run has been going on for about seven years. This is the seventh annual run. Skip Gay, Randy Gary, and Rod Bauer are some of the heavies that organize this run. There are many other people, of course, but I do not know all their names, and I just want them to know that we appreciate all that they do as well. They invited me and the Ride and Steel crew to attend, attend this run. The day started off cloudy and wet, and they rode throughout this entire ride in the rain, with some breaks in between, but for the most part, they were wet. I was in the comfort of my truck filming them from the inside, so I was feeling pretty good about that. But, you know, you got to hand it to these riders. They are dedicated and committed to, to doing what they do. Um, They've raised, let's see, this run in particular raised approximately $20,000. Stoney's Lobster Run, which happens on the first Sunday in August, complements this fund, usually with an additional six to $8,000. So we're going to guess that they raised about $25,000 for the Owie Box program in 2009. And throughout, throughout the seven years, they've raised over $200,000. So that puts a lot of smiles on a lot of little kids' faces at the Maine Children's Cancer Hospital. These folks are, are, are fun to hang with. We went from one lodge to the next and had breakfast and coffee and dinner, and it, it was a great time. So uh, let's get going on the ride. If you're looking to detail your auto or bike, check out Banana Banners, located at 160 Main Street, Bodenham, Maine, or go to appeal.com. Okay, I'm outside of the Elks Lodge here in Brunswick, Maine with Rod Bauer. Rod, how are you doing this morning? Doing great. Yeah. A little, little damp, but great. Yeah, the weather's a little unpredictable at this time, but they are saying it's going to be nice later. Yep, yep. They... Let's talk a little bit about the Owie Box. Okay. Okay. Um, I know that it's a toy box uh, for the children at the Maine Children's Cancer Hospital, right. the Barbara Bush Hospital, is it? Yes, it is, down in Saco, or Biddeford, Saco. Right. And uh, now, the toys that are in this box are, what kind of toys are they? They're stuffed animals, little cars, uh, coloring books, just anything that uh, a, a child can grab real quick and uh, take with them after they've had their treatments. Plus, it helps. Uh, keep their entertainment equipment upgraded and stuff for because they can be in a recovery room for 8 to 10 to 12 hours after their treatment. Right. Now, have you ever been to the Barbara Bush Hospital itself? Yes, I have. You uh, have? About five or six times. So you've seen firsthand the results of, oh, yes. of yes. Uh, your benefit run that you do yes, here? Yes, I huh? have. And uh, about four or five years ago, they needed new cabinets for their TVs and stare, you know, the DVD players and all that. And I uh, got donations and a bunch of us made up five cabinets for all the, all the TVs and that. And it's well worth it. You can only imagine what a kid's going through when mm -hmm. they're facing a life-threatening disease like cancer. Right. Okay, and so you're to be commended, you and the other elk riders and, and the uh, general public riders out there, uh, for uh, you know, taking away some of that fear that they may be experiencing uh, mm -hmm. because of the attention they're getting from you folks. Yes. You know. And uh, those kids are pretty brave. They, they, a lot of them are more in tune with what they're, what's happening to them than we realize, and they know that uh, every day they spend there, they're going to get better. We're going to go to Augusta first. Yes. Right, where a contingent from Waterville will be uh, yeah, Waterville converging there. Yeah, Augusta, and uh, there'll be a breakfast, and that's where the main group's going to leave from. Then we're headed over to Rockland, pick up another probably 20, 30 bikes there or more. Right. And then head up to Searsport for lunch and then finish up in Ellsworth for uh, dinner dance and awards and okay. stuff like that. Excellent. Well, we'll see you on the ride.
Inside the Elks Lodge in Augusta, breakfast was being served. This was an opportunity to get a hot cup of coffee and sit down with some of the riders and socialize. This was also a convenient time for riders to register for the Owie Box Room. It was here that I met Carol Cooper. Yes, my name is Carol Cooper. I'm, with the, I'm the development coordinator for the Maine Children's Cancer Program. So your position uh, entitles you to do just what? I do events. I help with fundraising. Right. And how long have you been affiliated with the Owie Box Run itself? Two years. Two years. Two years. And uh, and now you're going to um, you're offering me an opportunity to go into the hospital and actually see the inner workings of uh, me. Uh, of the uh, cancer program, correct? Yes. Children's yes. Cancer Program. Yes. And you know what am I expected to see there? You're going to see state of the art um, procedure rooms. You're going to see. Uh, doctors and nurses and social workers who are devoted to these children whose main goal is to make the families feel comfortable and to support the entire family. You're going to see an environment where it's not just patients, but patients become family to these nurses and doctors and social workers. Okay, so they really take their job seriously at soothing and easing the pain that these children are going through. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, there's nothing more important than making our patients feel that they're the most important person that walks in through that door. I mean, there are so many different services that people need, and, and our job is to make sure that they get the services, whether they ask for them or not. You know, we try to anticipate their needs. Right. Well, you know, uh, your job is very important, and I commend you for doing what you do. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me this, this morning, okay? Thank you. After getting their fill of breakfast and awaiting the arrival of other riders, it was time to mount up and head for Rockland. When Ride and Steel returns, we're on our way to group up with riders at the Rockland Lodge of Elks. Maroy's quality interior and exterior painting, serving the Midcoast area for over 20 years and proud to support Ride and Steel and the causes the bikers ride for. granddaddy's farm I worked hard for the promise of the land and the life now I've been locked out the American dream well we sold off the tractor we sold off the land I moved to the city and I got myself a wife now I've been locked out the American dream
Upon arriving at the Rockland Lodge of Elks, the riders were able to stretch their legs, grab a coffee, and await the arrival of the riders coming up from the Bath Brunswick area. The trip to Ellsworth is a long one, so the stop here was brief. They had one more stop to make for lunch before heading to the Ellsworth Lodge of Elks, which is their last stop for the day. The Owie Box Run is a weekend excursion which goes on rain or shine. This is much different than the runs that Ride and Steel has covered so far. Most runs require a day out of your weekend. This group begins organizing the Owie Box Run throughout the better part of a year, seeking sponsorship, organizing the various lodges so that coffee, food, etc. is available at each stop. They're a pretty tight group spending an entire weekend with each other but on the same note, always looking or accepting someone new to join them. Their commitment to the Children's Hospital is sincere and heartwarming. They've set up this charity so that all the proceeds benefit the Owie Box. It does not go into a general fund for the hospital to use at their discretion. Mary Labby, where are you from? Augusta. Augusta. Now, why are you participating in the Owie Box run? Because my friends ride in it. Yep. Excuse me, would you mind introducing yourself to me, please? Hi, I'm Rebecca Rashlin. Hi, and I'm Steve. Nice Where are you from, Rebecca? Albion, Maine. All right, now does the Albie Box run in particular have any uh, special meaning to you? Um, one of the gentlemen that I work with I work in Portland, his son died of cancer a few years ago, and his son was a poster child for the Lewiston Elks. So that kind of, you know, pushes me towards Kind of motivates it. you a little bit, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for participating in this one. I appreciate it. Jim Malloy from United Bikers of Maine, Kennebec County's director. All right. Uh, Jim, uh, UBM plays a very important role in organizing a lot of runs. And, uh, you know, so we want to make sure that we try to encourage as many people to sign up. Where would they go to sign up for UBM? Well, one or two things. Try to, we always ask people to, to join a meeting, uh, join a meeting, the local meetings in the local counties. Um, that is all listed on the website. You can always find uh, people there. You can always find an area rep at any one of our rides that we put on throughout the year. The Toy Run is probably one of our biggest uh, rides that we have, and, and that's where we get the most membership signed up and renewed there. That's right. And the uh, website is? The website is www.ubm-usa.org. Check out Cuddy's Tavern, a full-service bar offering Maine's hottest rockin' bands, fun games, and a friendly staff. Get on our website for upcoming events. Mike Paul Foundation serving commercial and residential customers for 25 years in all of Southern and Central Maine. Mike understands the importance of the owner being on site for quality insurance. Call Mike Paul Foundation, where no job is too big or too small.
Hi, I'm Ed Connors. I'm Dina Varnum. Hi, how are you guys? Good. Great. Did you, have, did you enjoy the ride up here even though it was a little wet? Yes. It was a you did? Yeah. Now, would you tell me why you happen to uh, participate in this run? I know one of the guys that put it on. It's a lot of fun riding around a large group of motorcycles. It feels good. Donna Tritech from Augusta. And your name? My Augusta, Augusta. Oh, you're both from Augusta? Yes. Did you both did you ride up here? I did not. You did not? Okay. She did. But you're here to support this alley box yes, run? Yes, I am. And, and why? How did you manage to get hooked up into this? Well, my husband usually rides up, but it was raining, so we chose to ride in the gap. And still support the program? Oh, yeah. I had the opportunity to ride with my beautiful wife, and I couldn't pass that up. I was introduced to the Stanley family, whose son was inflicted with leukemia. Way too many gray hairs. Hello there. Hi, sir. How you doing? My name is Steve Morois. I'm, I'm Justin with, Stanley. I'm with Ride and Shield, and we're covering the Alley Box Run, and from what I understand, uh, this uh, is uh, pretty personal to you. It very. is very personal. Very my son Josiah was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic uh, leukemia in May of 2008. Yeah. Hello. So, <laughs> so how do you feel about uh, the main children's cancer program? I thank them for everything that they've done, and <coughs> feel good. So, what's the status with your condition right now? I'm in remission for over a year, I think, and I'm good. How did you feel when you first got the news that your son was inflicted with this disease? We were shocked. We were in absolute shock. Um, but we're Stanleys and we're fighters and we fought back. And we made the right choice by going to Maine Children's Cancer Program. Um, again, working with uh, Stanley Chaliff and Eric Lassen. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you've seen the pictures of the kid. Someone watching this show may have a child or someone in their family, a loved one that's inflicted with cancer. What, what kind of advice do you have for them? <laughs> do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. There is hope. And there is help. Always. Do not lose hope. Ever. So as Josiah's mom, you know, you were talking about how another family member had been inflicted with lung cancer and you, had, you hadn't been involved with any fundraisers or, or charity type of work before. Right. And Josiah was the main motivator behind that? Oh, I mean that and just Come with going, me because the voice is behind. Just going down there, you know, to the, uh, especially when we were at Barbara Bush, you know, it was just seeing the kids there and you know the families that come in the same situation as us that just financially it just crushes you more than you can ever imagine and right. we just the light went off and it's like even the simple things the gas cards and the food and the places to stay i mean that just touches the surface mm -hmm. you know and there's just so much deeper and which in most it. most people's homes that surface yeah. is a lot you yeah. know we don't yeah. have much extra mm -hmm. to spend so you know ride and steel is about the motorcyclists okay yeah. and it's about the compassion that they have for these charities they support mm -hmm. and i would love to hear your opinion on what you think of the biker community oh love you guys yeah yeah you know a lot of people down belfast way that participate in a lot of the runs and stuff too mm -hmm. yeah and they're they're also part of the people that helped us realize that it's just deeper there's so much more you can do it's not just give somebody a 20 dollar bill and say hey here you go it's it's continuing and all the time not just because you're in need at that time but because you see the impact from all the other people that are going through it too you know and that's what hit us it's are you like, aware uh, of the fact that this morning when i woke up at six in the morning or 5 30 in the morning i should say it was pouring rain oh i know i and, had to too right and when i went to meet the uh, bikers leaving the brunswick Brunswick's Alps, I, the play, parking lot was empty and I felt, okay, they changed their mind because it's right. raining now. But then they came in. Yeah. And then we went to Augusta and there was more. And then we oh, came yeah. to Rockland and there was more. And then we came here. Yeah. And and they rode in the rain. Oh, yeah. To yeah. support a child they don't even know. Exactly, exactly. And that's what it should be about. It shouldn't be just because you've been impacted. It should be because you see other people that are going through it. I mean, we're all one, you know. Mm -hmm. We should be stepping up a lot more. <laughs> yeah. When, when your son was first diagnosed, did he get really ill? Did he? Oh, it was crazy. Did he? Was he in pain? Mm. He was. Mm. Was he fearful? Josiah, no. 
know. Well, yeah. you know, congratulations. I'm very happy for you and your thank family. You. And thank, thank you for coming here today and, uh, oh, thank you and for talking to come. me. You know, it's and great. This, this was great. So it's thank you. Nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Nice to meet you, Hannah. So when your brother Josiah came came down with so this really disease, know. how did you feel about that? Yeah. Did you grasp the reality of that situation? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I we found out after we got back from New York. So it was kind of. I, I understood, but it was tough. Mm -hmm. So now he's healthier. Mm -hmm. He's stronger. Yep. You still pick on? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't act like a typical sister? I, I don't know. I, I guess if you could say, I, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I oftentimes struggle with my emotions when I'm filming for Ride and Steel. It is more often than not heart-wrenching to learn the stories behind the inspiration to start a charity run. The upside, however, is meeting so many caring people. When I meet the people who are on the receiving end of all this love and generosity and see the lift in their spirit, the joy on their face, the hope that is instilled or reinstilled, I become humbled and grateful for this experience. That night there was a dinner banquet and a dance. On the following day, the riders will group up and tour the Cadillac Mountains. I want to thank the many people I met on the Owie Box Run for inviting Ride and Steel to join them. I would also like to thank Vicki Malloy for volunteering to videograph for Ride and Steel. In closing, I hope you enjoyed this program and the people we've met. And if you ride, that you'll consider joining up with one of these groups that ride for charity.